So the moral, imaginative, ideological, political apparatus of the Islamic Republic is imploding. It has nothing to do with a threat from any militarized or militant ideological movement inside Iran. It's a civil rights movement. Kids getting into the street and asking, where is my vote? And has nothing to do with even questioning the validity or uh, uh, c continuation of the Islamic Republic. It is within their constitutional rights to gather. Article 27 of the Constitution will say, where is my constitutional right? Mm -hmm. This is the Constitution you have written, uh, uh, give it to me. So it's not just in the streets, it's uh, within the apparatus of the Islamic Republic. And moreover, moreover, think that doesn't come across in the global message. Three major grassroots social movements. Women's rights movements, very important, very powerful, ideologically based leaders and activists all around uh, the country. Labor movement, I mean, look at the people who are in jail. They're actually heads of unions, mm. independent unions that are all in, suffering the uh, dungeons of the Islamic Republic. And the student movement. The student movement is, is all from around, uh, around the country. Right now, today news, Ahmadinejad has decided to shift the campus of one of the major Tehran universities out of the capital. They say the capital is in danger of uh, earthquake. Well, I'm sure it is, but not the earthquake that he has in mind. It's a different earthquake. So the social basis of this so-called green movement is not just kids getting into the streets. We have three major grassroots women's rights, student organizations, and labor. And they will not just disappear. Because